on this edition of the news in, in hand shots to show you of the new gaming grace figures that have landed here in australia black series and vintage collection have a mountain of code names we've got some new info about a future credit collection figure plus all the way from sa south australia we've got an unboxing all this and more coming up <laughs> Welcome to my television, your home of action figure news. Today, I have seen in hand, as you've seen on my Instagram, if you follow me over there at Usual Mike TV, <laughs> I've found the Flame Trooper that has just hit stores, took a photo of it, and as you can see, it's a standard size box. It's an exclusive to GameStop's EB Games around the world, and priced at 55 Australian dollars. Ooh, ooh, indeed, that says it all. It's a lovely figure, but I think the price is just 10 bucks too much for my liking. I would like to collect this set, but I'm, I'm going to leave it and I'll let you guys have it on the shelves. There's also the Cal Kessis. Have a look. Lovely, lovely. My friend, The Forces with Jesse, has got a couple of reviews over on his channel. Go and check those out. I'll leave links to, uh, a link to his channel down below. As we know, the Knight Brother is number five and there's a gap in there for number four. We're still trying to figure out who that might be. In the but the pale blue look of these boxes looks fantastic. So if you're interested in gaming grace figures, collect them all. Now, Black Series, woo! And Vintage Collection, we'll start with Black Series first. There is an absolute mountain of codes that they have dropped recently. Well, I've seen these on yakface.com. There is a lot just for the regular release for 2022 figures that are coming, and uh, another lot for future archive waves. Now, we still haven't seen any images of wave three, that's the wave with Princess Leia. That one. She may get another look in. A Fiverr First clone. Obi-Wan Kenobi from Revenge of the Sith. And... Hello there. Revan. That looks like the wave that's coming later in the year. Keep an eye out for that. But amongst all those code names that were for the Black Series, there is one called Lunge is the code name and it's got a special price of $24.99 US and it's going to be a Target exclusive. And now we're going to talk about the credit collection. It's Black Series as well. There's been a code name floating around for a while called Eel. We don't know what it is. Why would they only have one? Maybe that's the only one that was found. Maybe they're bringing out five, but we know there's one more coming. The information I have is that it's going to be released on October the 1st. Well, that's the street date anyway. It could drop a couple weeks early and priced in Canadian dollars here of $39.99. Who could it be? Well, we have Mando up here. So you can pick pretty much any of these characters that hasn't been made as a potential for that list. Remnant Stormtrooper, Quill, Griff Karga, Moff Gideon, the Armorer, Remnant Stormtrooper. The sky's the limit. And potentially, because we've got Bo-Katan and Koska Reese, could be one of those as well. Did I miss anyone from the lineup? regular Stormtrooper? I don't know. That will be coming to the credit collection in October. Now we move on to Vintage Collection. The Vintage Collection has a ton of uh, code names as well. 17 in all, which kind of works out to be four sets of four. Maybe one wave's got five, like we had this year with one. One of those could be a convention exclusive. We're not sure yet. They all look like code names. I've got the list on the screen. I'm not going to read them all out. But you know what I'm talking about where speculate down below. Let me know which ones you think they got planned for the future. And for Vintage Collection as well, coming up in July, I'm guessing because we're heading into June now, maybe a couple of weeks in we're going to see the Ahsoka Wave with Maul, the Arc Trooper Echo and the Jawa, off World Jawa, hit the shelves. It's not exclusive, you'll find it everywhere, hopefully. <laughs> but that looks like it's going to be turning up soon, as well as this image I've got from Amazon Australia. Have a look at this. That's that uh, Vintage Cat Toy 4-piece set. And it's got, that's Aussie dollars, $119.99. Has an October 1st release date on that. We still don't know what that is. People speculate that could be Bad Batch figures. That could be potentially another one of those special action figure sets. We'll wait and see what evolves out of that. And for all of you who collect Mission Fleet, here's a quick little screenshot from yakface.com of the upcoming Mission Fleet. There's a Razor Crest on top there. Uh, Ahsoka's Jedi Starfighter. Obi-Wan Kenobi's Jedi Starfighter 2. Moff Gideon and his TIE Fighter, Bo-Katan and the Gauntlet Fighter, 
and a Luke and Grogu are the potential releases that are upcoming for Mission Fleet. And Mission Fleet, as you know, is not exclusive. You can find it at all good department stores, apparently. And just to let you all know, custom. I don't put these in the thumbnail anymore, but we have to have a look at them from SW Black Series Concepts. Have a look at these four figures they've got. Oh my goodness, these are supposedly six inch figures of some concepts from Revenge of the Sith containing Grievous' bodyguard, the Clone Trooper, Palpatine, and Tarful. They look fantastic. Is this a precursor to something coming out for an anniversary? It would be nice. We don't know. That that account is something special. It is. It's like, who's running this account? <laughs> you do some good work. Well done. Um, the other thing, if you didn't catch my G.I. Joe video because you only watch the Star Wars videos, that's okay. I did a trade with j -Bo Trooper over in the States. He's fantastic. G.I. Joe man. Loves his stuff. G.I. Joe. I've got it in here. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Package rolls up. But in the box was gifted a couple of Star Wars figures. And I was like, wow. Bo-Katan. If you haven't seen this figure already, fantastic. What a great face. See how she doesn't have her helmet on. But we've seen images of Cosca Reeves with the helmet on it's like really I, I want it like this so i can see sasha banks's face you know great figure also he's a troop man and he sent me the elite squad trooper this this guy here this guy here he <laughs> was labeled as santa fey one his code name kept me up at night what is this bloody figure and it turned out to be this. We speculated it could have been a numerous amount of characters and it turned out to be this guy. Not a bad figure. Awesome. We just didn't know who he was. It's kind of like this Admiral Rampart that we're going to see soon or have seen soon. He's in the Bad Batch. He's getting a figure already. Just like that. So, thank you, J-Bo Trooper. Awesome. Let them He's going to have to make some room up here, won't I? Okay. Let's move on to the unboxing. This comes from my good buddy over in South Australia, which is west of me. Australia's laid out very strange. Anyway, this is Ed 5 standing by. What a legend. And he's got... He said this is for my birthday. My birthday was a few weeks ago now, but oh, it's your birthday. Have a blast. That's fantastic <laughs> to my happy belated birthday from Ed 5. Look at it. It's Ed 5. <laughs> it's his autograph right there. Famous in the community, we all we all know who Ed 5 is. Thank you so much, my friend. What have you got here wrapped up? I don't know. I'm about to find out. It's fragile. Let's cut it open carefully. If it takes too long, I'll just speed this up. 11 minutes later. Awesome! <laughs> oh, wow. I know what this is. This is a Back to the Future shirt. I'm a very big fan of Back to the Future. Should start a Back to the Future channel. That would be fantastic. Awesome. You're going to see me wearing this in a future video. That is brilliant. And, believe it or not, I've just completed my gaming greats in this style of box. Django Fett. <laughs> Thank you very much. Awesome. Yeah, I'm going to have to get them all out. I think there was eight all together. If I can remember them properly, it was Battle Droid... Jedi Revan, Purge Trooper, Scout Trooper, Darth Nihilus, and then I'll put the picture on the screen to tell you the rest of them. Thank you very much. This is awesome. Very chuffed to have this. Thank you very much. And thank you guys for watching today. I appreciate you all. And if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be doing this because I'd be talking to an empty camera. Thank you for all your support. Everybody, you guys are amazing. I love you all. And if you've noticed lately, there's some lots of different things on the channel for everybody now. Diorama building, G.I. Joe news, Star Wars news. It's for everybody, and I welcome you all. Thank you very, very much. And if you'd like to support the channel, become a member. Hit that join button down below, and you can get access to exclusive content. If you'd also like to support the channel, by going to the Amazon links down below and clicking the link and buying yourself something nice and a little bit helps out the channel. Also, there's a Redbubble store where you can buy some merch of usual Mike Television. You can have it on a shirt. Excellent stuff. If you haven't done so already, hit subscribe, tap that little bell for the notification, slap a like on this video if you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. All the best!